So open up a new metric part file and turn off the base reference plane and go to the front view and I'm just going to pan this over because here's the example I want to use as a reference and we're ready to get started. So I'll go to the line command and I'm just going to start with this basic outline right here and draw the general shape. And I'm going to use IntelliSketch at every opportunity I can get. So I'm going to try to line things up. And it doesn't matter if it's exact, we can dimension and modify it later. We're just going to get the general concept. And again, there's IntelliSketch to line these pieces up. And I'll go up and get the arc. And I'd like it to line up here so I can just pull that down and in the right position and there it is. Now I know I'm missing a constraint there but let's just figure out a couple of other internal pieces. I get the center by sweeping across the arc and I'm going to draw, draw a rectangle, just the general concept. And I know it goes down to right there and it lines up with right there so I'll get that as close as I can. And I see that it's missing a tangent constraint right here on this line and this arc. And now I'll start using constraints to get this in order. And so I'll start with a horizontal vertical constraint. And I know this lines up with this, so I'll do that on both sides. I know this lines up with this on both sides. This lines up with this and this lines up with this and you see this is out of whack right there, line that up and now I'll switch over to the equal constraint and I'd like to make this side equal with this side this line equal with this line this with this this with this and I'd like to make this equal to this now this is also a square right here and so I'm going to make this equal to this. But a good rule to follow is to do your geometric relationships first and then move over to the dimension command. And I see I've got a dimension right there and that's 110. So I adjust that and I see on the side it's 85. So make that change and I have another dimension up here and that's 80. And I have one more dimension that looks like a distance between. So I'm going to go from this line all the way across to this line. And that is 300. Now I'll take a look around and I'll see that looks like I'm missing another constraint right here. So I'm going to go back to the horizontal vertical and I'd like this line to line up with the center of that. And I think I've about got it. And now you can just go back and exercise the model. Make sure you put the cursor in where the it's highlighted in blue. So let me just go check one more over here. And that looks good. Also I'd just change that back to 80. And if I'd like to create the 3D model, I can just spin that around. And then we can just go up to select, pick the region, pick anywhere inside there. Grab the top of the arrow and just push that out. 